Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Drawing Conclusions. I'm Josh. And I'm Jessica. Today we're re reviewing the movie Alpha. A story about early man and his encounters with the beasts of the field and actually domesticating wolves to become pets and dogs. <laughs> That's funny. I When I saw the title Alpha, I thought it was a documentary about um, our family and how I rule the roost around here. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Anyway, pure hilarity. <laughs> this movie was directed by Albert Hughes and stars Cody Smith McPhee. Uh, first of all, Jessica, what did you like about this movie? So one of the things I liked about the movie was the fact that I actually liked this movie. I was not excited about seeing this show at all. I really thought I was going to hate it. I um, predicted before the movie started that I would give it two stars. And I actually ended up really enjoying the movie a lot. First thing right off the bat, the first thing you notice is just how absolutely gorgeous the movie is. It's stunning landscapes, yeah. beautiful cinematography, really interesting um, shots that really take advantage of the the beauty of the natural landscape yes. in telling this story. Um, and it's awe-inspiring, and they also, the director also manages, though, to, to really help you feel how threatening and kind of scary it is and, yeah. and how um, much wild. of a challenge <laughs> this young man is, uh, has before him when he gets you know separated from the rest of his tribe by showing how vast everything is, how far apart everything is. I mean, like people, right? Like there are tribes of people on the land, but it's not like... It's not know, populated. <laughs> right, it's not populated. So it's just like you can go for hundreds of miles without seeing another... In, in any direction, living soul. right. So I thought that, you know, he did just a really good job with that. Yeah. I thought the acting was actually really good. I really enjoyed Cody Smith McPhee as um, Kata. And... I think it's a role, actually all of the roles in the entire movie, there's this danger that it could have gone really corny, really cheesy, yes. really over the top. I mean, with the same exact script, with just with different direction and different acting, it could have gone in a completely bad, um, <laughs> you know, could have just gone completely wrong. Right. I mean, 10,000 BC movie, anyone? Come on. <laughs> but they really managed to keep this together, and a large part of that was the performances and how well the actors um, really conveyed the emotions and um, really, I think, played their parts with dignity and respect for the characters, even though it's 20,000 years ago and, of course, their you know, civilization is completely different than what we sure. experience in this day and age. So I appreciated that. And I liked the relationship between the dog, the wolf, Alpha, mm -hmm. and the boy, Kata. Yeah. I was also afraid that that would go super sappy and cheesy, and it didn't. It was really well portrayed. It was a very sweet relationship, a very realistic um, evolution to, from enemy to friend. I thought it was, it was really well done. Hmm. What did you like about the movie? Well, uh, like you, I think Albert Hughes is to be commended, and whoever cinematographer it was on this show, like you said, the first thing you notice is like, wow, this looks spectacular. Um, not just the scenery. They did a really great job of capturing landscape and actually making it part of the story. Right. But the action sequences and set pieces were really cool. And it wasn't just like piled up on top of one another. Yeah. Just like set piece, action, action, action. No. It told a story. Right. And uh, Kata's struggle and for survival to also eventually reach back home, you know, to his tribe. And I thought... Again, the performances, you know, echoing a lot of the same sentiments you had. The acting, you know, it was really cool. I mean, it was authentic. A little minor spoiler here. There are subtitles. They do use a, an ancient language. I'm not sure which one, so <laughs> but whatever. But, so, I mean, it added a, a layer of uh, authentic, authenticity to the show. Yeah. Um, the cinematography special effects were really good. Yeah, the CG was actually pretty good. They're, yeah. At the end... There was like really obvious CG at the end, but I thought otherwise, yeah. um, it was you really didn't notice it. No, it wasn't glaring. It wasn't like oh wow, look at that. You know, it was. Yeah. I mean, there obviously is in some parts. I mean, there right. are creatures that existed twenty thousand years ago the, that no longer roam the earth, right? right? And so, 
there's you can you know that it's CG, but it's not like you look at it and think, well, that's fake. Yeah, I think they didn't like overdo it with that stuff. No, and I appreciated that they did kind of like they really did play up the danger of the tribesmen going out on these hunts. Right. And I thought that was great. It really kind of upped the tension, and it wasn't like just you know walk in the park. Yeah. Definitely not that, and really well done. Uh, but in every in every way, in every aspect of the movie, I felt like there was restraint. Like you're saying, they didn't overdo the CGI. Mm. They didn't overdo the acting. They didn't overdo the tension. They didn't overdo the action. Everything showed like a real... Um, like but, the, the director really had control of mm -hmm. the story and of the movie. Very well balanced yeah. show. Very well balanced. Did you have any complaints? Anything um, you didn't like? There's not, nothing really that I didn't like. No, no real complaints. I would say, um, except, you know, again, at the very end, there was some CG that I was just like, meh, a little phony, but that really didn't bother me very much. No. I would say, not really a complaint, but what keeps this from, for me, from being like the, the tippity top of film is that I was not as emotionally invested in the story hmm. as I would like to have been, or I would have, or, or I have been with other shows. Anything that you didn't like? Was there anything that stood out to you that was not quite up to par for you? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, looking back on it, I mean, there's one scene at the end that they kind of just, the way they approached it, maybe I would have done it differently, but it wasn't a deal breaker. Yeah. And so, you know, I don't want to give anything away. But, again, it was not like some like, oh, man! Terrible. Yeah. It wasn't that. It was it was fine the way that they did it and it didn't bother me that much, you know. And yeah. so anything would be nitpicking at this point and yeah. I, I don't want to nitpick this show. I enjoyed it. Yeah, and you know the thing is it's like this isn't the most innovative story in the world. Right. We've we've seen coming of age stories, we've seen man and dog stories, right? We've seen right. survival stories. So it's not like again, this isn't breaking new ground, but it's just a really well done story. Yeah, it's, it's just a really well made Movie. It's taking old ideas and actually kind of making them a little bit fresh. I right. mean, another thing I did like about the show is it's very different from anything else. Right. Out. I, I did like, again, the authenticity with the subtitles using ancient language. Right. The, the, you know, using the landscape almost like a character into itself right. in the show. Uh, the animals, the, the and not trying culture to, of the tribes. Not trying to cool. modernize it too much with no. any of the look of it or the feel of it or... Right. Or having amped up action going all the time and, yeah. and you know, crazy effects. And, and stuff. I liked that the music was fairly understated. Yeah. I, I didn't like that it was in the way and just like foreshadowing, like, oh, you could cook up something, you know. Right. There wasn't that. I think silence in movies like this where you want tension is golden. And they did use a lot of that very effectively. Uh, overall, what would you give this show? So, a very surprising four out of five for me. I thought it was a really good show, and I recommend seeing it. And seeing it in the theater to take full advantage of how beautiful it is to look at. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll just paste and copy that. <laughs> <laughs> copy and paste? I think you had the order wrong. Now. I don't care. Anyway. <laughs> yes, copy and paste that as well. Ditto, even. But, yeah, I enjoyed this movie. Four out of five for me, to See this in the movie. Take it in all the in, or yeah, in, in the movie. <laughs> in the movie. Theater. See the movie in the movie. See the movie. What? In There's the a movie. movie inside the movie. How weird. Crazy, right? <laughs> These days we live in. Yes, definitely see this in the theater. It looks awesome, and I think you'll enjoy it. For drawing conclusions, I'm Josh. And I'm Jessica. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and as always, we'd like to hear from you. So throw some stuff in the comment section, and don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Yeah, the link to our Patreon is in the video description. Thanks.